what's up? This is CNN Radio here at the CNN Grill. We have a very special guest, politician and pro athlete. I think it's fair, is it fair to call you a politician? It's definitely not fair to call me an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> we have the great Charles Markley here. And we want to talk politics, but first year, my husband had to get in a question. He's a, he's a, he's a Philadelphia fan. He's okay. a Sixers fan. He wants to know where he can get some of those retro 1980s receivers. He also wants to know why Alan Iverson gets credit. Uh, some people think he's better looking than you. He wants to know what's up with that. Well, Alan Iverson is a good looking guy, but I'm a. It, I'm a much bigger, better looking guy, just for the record. And uh, I'll work on those shoes. No, I want to know where I can get some of them retro shorts. No, you don't want those. <laughs> hey, man, you know what's funny? You know, you could, every now and then they break out one of those old games, you know. But it was what it was back in the day. But, but they're funny to look at. You bring, uh, you bring those shorts back, Justin Timberlake will be saying, no, bring sexy back. Right, right, right. <laughs> I keep telling Justin Timberlake, sexy never left. <laughs> there you go. I've always been here. There you go. All right, tell us what you think about this convention. You're most recently a Republican turned Democrat. That's not true. No? All right, correct me here. The, the, that's been one of the biggest misnomers of Perfect. my life. I was doing an interview like in 1980-something with a reporter, and politics came up. And the guy said, are y'all Democrats or Republicans? And my grandmother said, well, Republicans are only for rich people. And I said, I got news for you, Granny. I'm rich. But uh, I've never voted Republican. And from that, from that, you yeah. voted to a Republican? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. I mean, it's unbelievable. That's the first thing when I do shows. People say, you're a Republican. I said, that's not true. That is incredible. I said, I'm rich like a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Democrats are built. They're built. They're they're bringing in the money. People now, Democrats well, here and we there. Got a, we got a long way to go. And one of the reasons I support the Democratic Party is America. You know, obviously we've always unfortunately had a racial divide. But really, America right now is divided by economics, rich against the poor. And the gap between the rich and the poor is getting wider every year. And that's one of the reasons uh, I'm here. And I'm going to keep beating that subject home. The last eight years especially. The, it well, it, 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 it was always bad and it's gotten worse the last eight years. And uh, hopefully we can do something about that. Chuck, got to ask you, a big speech last night, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. What did you think about her speech? Well, I, didn't, I can't tell you to be honest with you. I didn't get to hear because I was just coming in. But I like her a lot. You know, I've got to, I got Cause, to. Because she's tall, too. I know. <laughs> you know uh, I, I got to know Barack when I was writing my last book. He was running for Senate. And we developed a friendship. And I remember when I walked out of the room with him, it was me and Mike Wilbon. I said, that guy's going to be something good one day. Obviously, at that point, I wasn't thinking about the presidency. But when you're around this guy, he is so intelligent, so charismatic. You know, and I hear all these reporters talking about he's just great at giving speeches. I said, well, you can't hate on the man because he's he's got charisma and he speaks well. You just got to give him his credit. But I've never actually met uh, Michelle, but just some about her. I like her spirit. You know, you just, you know, when you see people, you're like, you just like her. I like her spirit. And I'm sorry I didn't get to hear her speech, but I got to tell you something. I, I can't believe, I've never been to the convention, but I had to be here. You know, as a black man, I had to be here. I'm so proud, so excited. I mean, I, I just had to be here. What do you feel about their chances? What do you think about their obstacles? <laughs> well, the biggest the obstacle is always, unfortunately, going to be the race thing. You know, it's sad that I, I always say racism is the greatest cancer in my lifetime. And that's unfortunate. And the thing, the polls don't mean anything. This thing is going to go down to the wire. And really what it's going to come down to is Obviously, if you look at the situation in Iraq, it's terrible. The economy is in turmoil. We got the foreclosure mess. They're shipping all our jobs out of this country. We need a change. But it's still going to come down to what people are going to, when they get in their little booth, whether they're going to pull, or whether they're going to pull the lever. Because I always tell my sis, we need to go in a different direction. Even, even if you, even if you don't like. If you got to open your heart up and say, hey, I don't like the way things are going. That's, to me, what this election is about. Because if you got to be realistic and honest, you can't like the way the country's going now. You can't, you can't honestly say, I like the 
the job George Bush has done. And let me tell you something, Senator McCain is a good guy. He's a really good guy. No, he said he would bring change too. He's not going to bring change. Uh, America is divided by, I told you, it's always been divided by race, of course. It really is divided by economics. I thank God that I am not at the mercy of, uh, of the Republican Party. And, and, and be honest with most of these politicians. But the gap between the rich and the poor is worse than it's ever been. You're one of the people whose taxes would go up under Barack Obama. I understand that. And I think, first of all, if you're rich, you're always going to be rich. The tax is going up a little bit. It ain't going to make me poor. If you're, if you're making the type, and I, and, I, and I understand that too, but if you're making the type of money that they're talking about, they're going to tax you more, you're going to be all right. Chuck, I want to get this in real quick. Redeem versus Dream Team. Who was better? Roland, come on now. Don't be asking me no trick it's question. question. It's, it's not, question. First of all, that's not a fair question. <laughs> that's the easiest question I've been asked during this interview. So, Redeem? Come on, man. <laughs> come on. That's not even country. How many points would y'all beat the Redeem team by? 20. Oh. <laughs> That'll be on YouTube in about <laughs> three minutes. 20. <laughs> 20. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm Lisa Desjardins. You've been listening to America Votes 2008 on the CNN Radio Network.